interface some of the many CPAP devices that are out there with our Hamilton ventilator. The big issue for us is there are probably five or six different sizes of CPAP masks, and this is just one type. So we're going to go through just the one type of CPAP mask, just as a demonstration of what some may look like. The thing just to kind of be aware of, there is a nose piece on this that easily falls off. If that falls off, we can't make seal. The other part of this is we were talking, and it's kind of like a headset that you used with a retainer. There's a retention piece here that you have to know is there and, and intact as well. So as we talk about this, we'll, we'll speak to the interface. The other thing too that just to be aware, when you open your PEED circuit, of course with the PEED circuit you change the baby blue expiratory valve. So we've got the baby blue expiratory valve, the PEED circuit, and potentially a CPAP device, delivery device. There's a tube that nobody's ever really used in the pediatric neonatal Hamilton circuits. This is a monitoring tube and it works very, very well on the Fisher Pytel brand of CPAP that Mott uses. Right on the side of this device, so there's two limbs, it doesn't matter which one's which when we hook it up, but there's a plug here. When you open that up, there is a threaded connection threaded connection to the CPAP. That's your pressure monitor. So now you can do your pressure monitoring just like you do with the Hamilton vent. The thing of N or neonatal CPAP, there's a special mode in here that we purchased for strictly CPAP in the neonates. With that, you have to kind of strip the system down a little bit. So you take your flow sensor off, so you will not use your flow sensor. You take this adaption piece off, so this whole device, flow sensor and kind of the Y. I would keep this just in case the patient needed to be intubated later, you'd have the parts to reassemble. Get that stuff all over the way. And then you take your pressure sensor line, hook it up to your ventilator, blue to blue, and now you'll be able to monitor patient pressures. So this is a fully dynamic CPAP machine. The other thing just connectors it, and it's, it's got many, many connectors so that you can fit different circuits. Take these off for our use, set them to the side, and then like I said, it doesn't matter which side, it's, it's just making a flow circuit. So that hooks up, that hooks up, and now you've got a CPAP machine for a neonate. So once the ventilator turns on, Neonatal mode, let's say the kid is three kilos. And this is very, very precise. Three kilos. We are going to modes and CPAP confirm. That gives you a diagram to kind of help you reconfigure. So you've got your diagram of how to hook it up. You've got your CPAP and you've got your FIO2. That's all there is. It is a CPAP delivering machine at this point.